In the last uh, video, we talked about using the attribute editor and the channel box to uh, alter our primitive objects. Um, one thing that Maya does is have generally very many ways of accomplishing the same same idea. So uh, what we've done so far is certainly no exception to that. And there are other ways, and uh, sometimes the other ways will work better. So just come in, make sure that the uh, shaded and wireframe on shaded are selected. Then under Create, Polygon Primitive, let's choose a cone here. And drag out a base, left click and drag, and let go, and then drag out a height. And just something that fills up the screen there. Okay. So there it is, and we can click off of it and click on it, and uh, it shows up as long as we have that wireframe unshaded. This will look real nice. And we can change things with the attribute editor, but we've got these uh, icons over here. The first one is uh, translation, and we get these little handles. When we click on a handle, it goes yellow. Click and drag, and it moves. So we can move the object around the, or along the uh, X, Y, and Z axes. There it goes. You notice the uh, translate numbers are changing in the attribute editor. And we've got this little uh, square at the center. When we click on that, the object will be translated along all of the axes that are visible in the screen. So we're looking at it from a combination of the X, Y, and Z axis. So when we uh, when we move it this way, the X, Y, and Z translate will all move at once. Okay, the next uh, button over here on the left is the Rotate button. So when we click that, we get a number of circles here. Now these circles are around each of the principal axes, and then there's one outer one that we'll talk about a little bit later. But uh, these are a little bit harder to use uh, or to understand how they work because they are, uh, we well, can kind of think of them like bicycle wheels that are around an axle that is running down those uh, X, Y, and Z axes. So we click on one and it turns yellow, just like the uh, translate handles did. And now we left click and drag and these will rotate and the uh, the numbers will change in the attribute editor we can rotate it along any of the axes here and of course we can just go back into the uh, attribute editor and reset them to zero okay the last one here is the scale it's these little squares let you scale it on individual axes. So there's uh, uh, X, and there's Y. Of course, you can reset it uh, here in the transforms of the uh, attribute editor. A little square at the center lets you scale in all three uh, axes at the same time. Okay, looks good. Scales back to about zero. Okay, so there it is. Now, these buttons also have keyboard shortcut keys. The W key is the uh, translate, the E key is the rotate, and the R key is the scale. So you can just uh, click those keys, and that will be the same uh, action as pushing the button. And, uh, you know, when you're getting real fast at this, that will actually make a difference, and you'll find you'll probably be using those. So that's it, and that's it for this video.